Hello, this is Broyer, and welcome back to another episode of our Let's Play for EU4 as we continue our run here with a Champa. Not a lot's changed in the last few episodes, unfortunately, but we're getting there. We're going to keep working on our money situation as much as possible. Uh, but I really need to go after Khmer soon. All right. I think our best bet is probably, probably not marketplaces, I would assume. It's probably temples. It's hard to know. Marketplaces, it's really hard to determine how much value there is in in some of these right i mean obviously vijaya here is a huge amount of market share right and so at some point we definitely want to do that one but it feels like initially we would want to do temples at least in the ones that are above 0.1 that's usually my rule of thumb i think we'll do one in there and we'll just kind of work our way down the list here must have some missionary strength I like the idea of global trade power. Yep, I think that's going to be the best one for us. And because we've just increased the merchants a bit, we can go to the decisions and grab this one now. Yep, that'll help with construction costs and everything. Ugh. We can't afford the loyalty loss here, so we've got to lose the prestige. That's really, that's really sad about that. Now you're going to grab ducats, aren't you? How rude. Which means we can't build anything until after December. Oh, these are both bad. I mean, it's all bad, so... Okay, that now we can build something. Hey, new government reform. Nice. Launch of the true faith. Admin tech cost goes down. That's pretty good. Oh. Temples and cathedrals give us local unrest reduction and more tax modifier. All right, we got to go for that one. And we can go ahead and build another temple. Up to 7.87. Nice. Now we're demanding ducats. Gotta gotta hold off on building stuff again. Hmm. I think we'll accept the, the local unrest. We'll just have to stamp them down when we can. Okay. Now we can build something. Plus, I think we've got enough money coming in now to safely do the missionary stuff. Finish out these last couple. Manpower is starting to come back. About to reach maximum for what? Diplom? Okay. And then we go in here and we do another idea. All right. Can we actually do anything with our merchants now? <laughs> mm. 
All right, so let's look at the trades for a second. So our trade node that we're collecting in is here. We currently have 24% of the power in this trade node. What we would like to do is bring trade from Burma I don't think we can reach there, can we? Oh, no, we can. There we go. Uh, let's grab the one that's not assigned to anything first. And then is there anywhere else that comes into here? Nothing else comes into here. Right? It would have to be something that comes into Burma. Which would be... Chengdu, which I don't think we can... Oh, we can! Never mind. So Malacca can transfer from there. That, in theory, will help a little bit. Let me slow down. And let's just see what this looks like. Okay, so we are transferring. We're transferring. And it's all coming back down to here. Alright, hopefully that does what we need it to do. That's 26% of the trade power. I think that's better. Alright, um... Let's keep grabbing taxation stuff. Oh, do we want to keep going with these? At least this one would help reduce some uh, of the unrest nearby, right? So this is actually... A, even though this one's not 0.1, because it has the addition of reducing unrest, I think I'll at least do this one. I don't know if I'll do these other ones right now, but I think I'll at least do this one. I don't like the idea of losing loyalty and stability. It's unfortunate. Y'all are at Miltel Miltech seven. You're at Miltel six. Miltech, I should say, and we're at Miltech what? Six. We can grab seven at any point. Okay. I think that we're going to do one more building, which is the mar the uh, market here. And then we will probably focus on building up our military. Domestic trade power. Um, okay, that seems terrible. Uh, so again, no more taxation. Oh, never mind. Never mind. Apparently there's more that's worth it. One has to, assuming it has to do with the missionaries, right? So that's good. Let's grab us. Okay, no more taxation at the moment. So then we'll go with the marketplaces and we'll just go with this top one for sure. I don't know if we'll worry about any of the other ones right now, but this one definitely is going to make a difference. Um, and is that it? I think that might be it. So let's, let's uh, go back out, increase our army maintenance, and start recruiting. Um, actually, you know, we're going to hold off. Not hold off. We're actually going to grab the next mil the tech. This will actually give us mortars, which will open up some good things for us. We're not unbalanced. Oh, we would be unbalanced. Never mind. We would need to get these other two up. Mm, okay. We really need to get seven because these other guys have seven. Local goods produced. Workshops, production efficiency. All right, I think we got to grab all these because we, we got to get to mill tech seven, I think. 
in order to face off against our enemies here. Which doesn't mean we can add in mortars now. Um, how many mortars do we need for a fort? Uh, if we look at the capital fort, is what, this one? Don't we have a way to see that? Somewhere? Why am I blind and not seeing the capital fort stuff? I know it should be here somewhere. <laughs> I'm just blind as a bat. I'm literally blind. I feel like there should be a place here for it. And I'm not seeing it. Oh, there we go. Um, but it doesn't tell me. I feel like it's one cannon is enough to at least get you started. And what's the... I mean, I don't think we're close to the uh, combat width yet. Combat width's 24. We're not close to that. So... Oh, we can get another ship. We'll finish out with just frontline troops at this point, I think. I'm actually tempted to go up to four cav, actually, to be fair. Oh, well, did I do one too many? I uh, did one too many. Um... I'm fine when I guess you haven't progressed that much. Cancel you. I might, like I said, I might do two, two cav. I'd rather lose Diplo, gain some mercantilism here. I just realized we haven't had a leader here. Alright. Battle cap is out. And our force limit's you know, not completely high up, but it's getting there. I do need to get us a leader. A general, probably even an admiral. Not bad. No siege, but good on everything else. Goodness. Can't argue, can't be unhappy with that too much. Um, we might as well go to an admiral just to have one. Happy with that. Oh, can we really get another ship already? And another manpower, can't we? Oh, no, I'm sorry. We got the 20th one coming. All right. Manpower's good. Those are good. At this point, I think I'd like to pay off the loans. Well, we're about to have some rebels pop up. Boo. Okay. Under here. So I'm going to have you start here. It's most likely they're going to pop there. 10,000 troops. Not terrible. Seize land. Can we afford to seize land? Nope.
Missioner just finished. Oh, you might actually pop up there. Oh, because the missionary is there, I'm assuming. Oh, yeah, I hadn't thought about... I haven't been big enough to worry about attrition before. Um, okay, I'll come down here then. I'll just be close by. Not attrition, but um, supply limit. Oof. I don't like either of these. What is the next government reform? How important is it for us to get there? Mm, there's some good ones. I think we'll take the stability loss. Uh, which is unfortunate, but then we'll just come right back in here. And we'll boost it again. All right, we'll pay the loan. I want to get another temple, because I think a temple here would actually be worthwhile now. All right, hopefully we didn't lose too many troops. All right, we're ready to go to war soon. Maybe. 20,000 troops. Not bad. 21 ships. Not bad. Probably should pay off this other... Pause, pause, pause. Okay, this will bring in Khmer. All right, we're going to try and accept this. This might be really bad for us. Um, so we can go jump on Khmer now. Um, Are we worried about our ships? Honestly, I feel like our 21 ships should be able to deal with so I need a body that we're going to go up against. So we're going to bring our ships out here. Which is going to... Hey, we captured a ship. What did we capture? Oh, we captured a light ship. We'll take it. Um, then we can blockade some ports in certain places. Really what we should do is we should bring you guys down here. Kick these ships out. Kill them. And then we can move on from there. Uh, do we have war taxes raised? Yes. I don't really like this. I don't really want to lose Diplo power right now either. Alright, we're going to uh, attach siege and start sieging up here. So you can detach a siege as well. Now the ships should get kicked out. Theoretically, we should be able to beat up on them. Uh, 
Oh, we need to come over and help you. I'm sorry. I was not paying attention. I was watching the ships. <laughs> Um, can we tell you to repair it? Repair damage ships. There we go. Catch him, catch him, catch him. Hit all four dead to dive yet. Oh, okay, wow. Um, I'd like to come blockade over here. I think we will do. Plus, it'll allow me to jump on those ships there very easily. Jump on you there, then. Can we peace out <laughs> Khmer on its own? Are we allowed to do that? I think we can safely go back to uh, trade. I don't think I actually hit it. <laughs> Let's protect. Tra actually, you know what? Um, air damage ships again. Whatever's left. Protect trade in the uh, Siam node, please. I think since we get the capital, we can uh, peace out of here. Um, split you guys up, and we'll just do a little bit of a uh, we'll do a little bit of uh, looting. Which I guess we've already been doing some, so you're gonna move over here. Let's get this capital here. If we can get some land from Khmer out of this. That would be amazing. Okay, so we got all that. Uh, we can build improvements. Can we peace out Khmer? We are making negotiating for ourselves. They are nearly negotiating for themselves. Okay. So, what all would we want? I only got 91 war score. A little surprised by that. War reps. All right, so we could almost get this if length of war was better. 
Or we could get rid of one thing and just take a couple provinces. Take a little bit of money. Doesn't grow us by much, but it grows us a little bit. And it gets us their capital, which is interesting. Uh, let's look at the state's view for a second. Um, where's state's? These are all Mekong. Yeah, so... Yeah, these two would be good. I would really I would like to get all three. I'm not seeing the states. This is not what I was hoping for. I thought there was an actual state view. Maybe if I go into here. There we go. That's what I'm looking for. Yeah, if I grab all three of these, that gets us the entire state, which would be really, really nice. I think we... I think we plan on all three. I would like war reps. We're not far off from war reps. It's really just length of war. Would help a lot. Problem is, if we let them peace out, peace out then we will not... Um, we might not get anything. I could also just take off war reps. I can immediately get all this right now, right? Oh, cannot negotiate a separate peace between two junior partners. Okay. Well, then never mind. We're not going to be able to get anything from this war after all. Fair enough. Well, let's go help you with whatever we can. Does this put us in a um, truce with you, with these guys? Oh, how we're we waiting. Let's see. Were there any temples that we could build that would give us some boost? No. What about workshops? All right, let's bring up here and help deal with some things. We'll help our ally here. Eventually, he'll come back and help us someday. All right, we're going to go ahead and put a cut in there. When we come back, we will hopefully be able to go to war with somebody soon. Because I think we're in a position we can go to war. We'll figure it out. But I do appreciate you guys watching. May God bless you. And I hope you join me again next time. Thank you and goodbye. I wanted to give a special shout out to the following channel members. Thank you so much for supporting the channel.